The Island of Gods, one of the most popular islands in Indonesia, placed with incredible landscape, big rice terraces, short, tiny, very friendly and always smiling people, unique culture, huge spirituality, daily offerings, ceremonies, basically the special kind of the paradise which calls Bali. Hey my listeners, welcome back in my podcast Eat to be fit. Here is Monica, Czech woman, who is living on the tropical island Anquila at that time. And I am here with my next episode, episode number four, about beautiful island Bali, about Indonesian people with special guest from Bali. So stay tuned and let's hang out for a couple next minutes. Eat we fit! popular in last two years many people visitors are coming over to enjoy their holidays and also I did visit this country this lovely island it was 2015 when we me and Alina one of my friend and co-worker at the time we took whole month's vacation to spend there to get to know people around to travel and discover beauty, nature, product, many kinds of yoga, treatments as a pedicure, manicure, massages. But also we were very active. We did hiking, rafting, horse riding. Also we met local people and we had good opportunity to spend couple days inside local families, which was incredible because we got experience what you can receive in any kind of tourism office. People there were very friendly. They took us as a part of the family. They took us for the local funeral, which was a huge celebration. And I will never forget all these what I could see there. Memories are forever and travels give you so much. Thanks God, I keep one of the contact, what I still have in the Bali, is the guy whose name is Neumann. And Neumann was so friendly and nice and kind. And I'm so happy that he's keeping in contact with me because I can invite him now into this podcast and give you real experience with the local Balinese guy and give you more information about the Bali. So enjoy! Yeah! Can you see me? Yes! Okay! Nice to see you. You know what? Here is early morning, so that's why I didn't want you to show my face, but it's unpolite, so I will do it. (laughs) Here is like 6 a.m. It's such a big difference, time difference. Yeah, why you not want to see you? Because I just woke up, look at me. (laughs) No, no problem. No problem. You still, you still beautiful. I'm so happy yeah. that I see you. It's such a long yes. time. Now I was wondering when was the last time when I saw you and it was 2015, four years ago. Yes. And now when I'm wondering about memories from Bali, 
the first thing what is coming up in my mind are your ceremonies your celebrations your burning fire sticks everywhere around your beliefs your spirit so please can you explain us more about your ceremonies it is about the i will say thank you or the blessing uh is other body or blessing of the places wherever you have been staying for a long time and then want to bless like uh, keep the spirit good mm -hmm. and then that's the the point of the ceremonial and then the mainly is uh say thank you to the god mm -hmm. so what they give with us and then what we get Uh, from them from the god and then we say thank you or uh, i hope in the future is more better life mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like 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 hoping okay and i remember we visit with you the local funeral and yes. the local funeral it's also like big ceremonies and celebration you burning um, uh, this yes. cow is it cow yes because uh that is the symbolic oh. so the the our belief in our body is belong for five element okay so so the number one i put to example we the our body come from fire okay. water okay earth uh, uh sky okay and then at ether okay so five So after we have passed away, or after somebody died, they are supposed to be back again to pipe that element. And you so, giving to person like lot of offerings, like food, like jewelries, or I don't know what else. Yes. So and all yes. these offerings means like that you are supporting him or her to his next journey. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the all the offering is the supporting them or him or mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. going well back to the uh, basic mm -hmm. like I told you five element mm -hmm. and then to have the next good future or maybe if they are born next future they will come with the goodness with the yeah sounds nice to me i really like that idea because for example in my country we when somebody pass away we take the process more like putting the people and family members around into the depress uh, we wear black clothes we cry so much and we don't think much about celebration and to remember the person for uh, his uh, good attitude or support him and think about his next journey somewhere uh, in the sky also i like the idea and vision when it's poor family and still they want to say goodbye that the uh, people around or vi villages they just uh, split the cost of the ceremony or funeral or celebration and they still enjoy the time to make the process what it's supposed to be done okay so this is the things what i really remember and also i would like to talk about the food a little bit because this podcast uh, names it's like eat to be fit so Let's talk about food or Balinese kitchen. I remember when we were traveled the island, you do have uh, huge rice terraces. So the main um, grain what you eat it's rice probably, right? Yes. And what what is your tradition uh, meals? What you eat like daily? So in all of Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Yes, the mainly we eat rice. Mm -hmm. That is uh, on the day by three time, uh, one day. So morning, okay. 
afternoon and dinner. Okay. All and do you have the, do you have like um, different type or kinds of rice or do you have only like one white jasmine rice or how many kinds do you grow on the island? So in in our island right now we grow like uh, three kind of rice. Okay. So one is, is the normal is uh, white rice, mm -hmm. and then the brown rice, and then the black rice. Uh -huh. Which one is your favorite? So right depend because mostly the people uh, eat that is the white rice, mm -hmm. but now the brown rice is more favorite because low carbohydrate. Ah. Oh. Okay, and so, your your pri your personally favorite, what do you prefer? Right now it's brown. brown yeah, brown. Oh, okay. So get lowers the carbohydrate. Okay. For, for the uh, for the uh, into come to your body. Okay, so you are trying to get more into the shape. Yes. Okay. That's nice, I like it. Uh, now, I would say that um, most of the countries around the world and population, they uh, getting their sums to be more fit and they thinking more about fitness, healthy lifestyle, about diet, about exercise um, for daily basics. So that's very good vision. So uh, what they do people over there? Which type of exercise? How they working out? Tell us. Right now, right now the people think more care about uh, themselves. Okay. So they are doing the exercise, whatever they own, whatever mm -hmm. they like it. Like uh, soccer, like uh, okay. uh, football, uh -huh. jogging track, okay. uh, swimming, whatever. Nice. Nice. So now mostly people care about the life. That's good. That's good. Back into the kitchen right now. What about meat? Do you eat meat often or which type of meat do you eat? Uh, mostly we eat the chicken. Chicken. Mm -hmm. All over Indonesia, mm -hmm. the, mostly they eat chicken mm -hmm. and rendang or maybe beef from the cow or goat. Okay. But for, for Balinese people, mostly they eat uh, uh, pork. What is pork? Pork! Pork! Pork, yeah, pork. Pork, okay. So basically you eat three times per day most of the time. You have most of the time rice or chicken. And yeah. Balinese people, they are allowed to drink and they can drink whole year or how it is go with alcohol over there? Yes, we allow but not much. Mm -hmm. Because in Bali now alcohol has become expensive. Mm -hmm. And then no people allowed to buy, but uh, mm -hmm. people still drink mm -hmm. uh, depending on the situation is pocket. Okay, understand. Uh, tell me uh, what it's local grow on Bali, like type of fruits or vegetable, yeah. what, what do you yes. do grow there? So we have a lot, like uh, start from vegetable. We are growing a lot, lot of vegetable here, like uh, uh, eggplant, mm -hmm. something like cucumber, mm -hmm. and then carrot, and then uh, all of what is uh, can mix in Bali, mm -hmm. where you have a menu from the Western menu that is all they uh, grow in Bali. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yes. typical fruit. Fruits a lot, papaya, mango, and then pineapple, and then what's called uh, banana, and then mangosteen, and then jackfruit, oh, okay. and then uh, rambutan is is is, is, is 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 lot. Okay, what's uh, the best time to come over to Bali for holiday? Uh, so if you come to Bali, come on June, July, August, but a little bit expensive. And then if you want to come, maybe on April, uh, like February, March, April, a little bit lower price because on low season. Mm -hmm. uh, but the favorite thing from Europe, you can come on June, July, August, September, and then until October. October is good but a little bit hot here mm -hmm. but you will get a good price for the accommodation wherever because on the uh, waiting for peak season on September December 
Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. okay. Can you tell us something in Balinese language and something like "Hello, how are you?" Oh, apa kabar? Apa kabar? Uh, yeah, apa kabar? Okay, nice. How are you? Nice. And then terima kasih. Terima Thank kasih. You. I remember this. Terima kasih. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Yeah. Do people drink their coffee? Yes. A Balinese people mostly drink a lot of coffee. Lot of Whatever, coffee. Because they believe after they uh, drink coffee, the eyes wake up and then strong for work again. Yeah, yeah, it's energizing. Energizing. Eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they do drink a lot of coffee. Okay. Yes. In the end, now tell us what is your life quote. Life quote, like something. Uh, what uh, what you personally believe and what it's important to you karma karma what is yes. what is karma for you describe it yes karma is meaning what you do it that you will get what you put it that you get okay you understand grow, when you grow and then after then the the procedures uh, of you that's it that is the karma yeah if you good on life if you positive thinking maybe you after then you will good attitude you get a good karma and then everything will be well you always smile laughing and then that's it understand you will be more more life understand when you treat the people yes, with, in the good people way good. then you receiving yes. good energy and good yes. Uh, feelings yes. back. Yes. Good. Yes. So yes. I wish you great karma for today and next days and yes. forever. Yes. Take care yourself and hopefully talk yes, to you too. one day again. Yes. Bye bye. How is bye in Bali? Nice. Bye bye. Yeah. Uh, sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. Yes. Sampai jumpa. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. <laughs> Balinese people always friendly and always ready to welcome you guys on the island and to show you the hospitality. The contact from Naiman will be below this audio record or on my website. So check it out and one day if the Bali will be on your travel list, contact him and he will be more than happy to help you and to show you things around. This was my short story about Bali one of my page in my travel diary i hope you like it and you guys who wants to see more videos or photos check out my youtube channel monica jikova find out there this episode number four bali the island of nature and spiritual joy have a lovely rest of the week and talk to you soon bye